I'm in, in pain every day since I was probably 23, 23 and 35. Every, every single day I'm talking about, you know, waking up sore, going in training and sore. When you're in the, the grind of it, you don't notice. And some days you come out for an afternoon session after one of John Wells's mauling, mauling touch game, full contact mornings, and you'd roll on your back and you'd just lay on the Penny Hill pitch and be like, fuck me, I feel so bad. And a session hasn't even started. And I know I've got maybe an hour and a half, two hours full contact. And I, the psychologist said to me, you know, Dick to Penny, he goes, well, how, are your, how are your teammates? Like, what state are they in? And I hadn't asked anyone. I hadn't seen anyone. And when I was a player, I wasn't that social, bizarrely, even though I was like a big, you know, gobshite on the, in the media. But Dylan, you know, I, I went around to Dylan's and we sat down and we, A, we had like a lovely time just having a sit down and a chat and like chewing the shit like we used to and chewing the fat like we used to in the change room. But I said to him, how are you? And he was like, I'm fucked. And I was like, oh my God, thank God. Because I am in pieces. And in the last two months alone, I spent two and a half grand of my own money, I've got no, I hadn't got medical insurance because all the way through our careers we were looked after, I had no aid to get an MRI scan, an, inject, an MRI scan on three parts of my body, I need treatment on three bulging discs in my back at three different points, I need injection in my ankle, uh, I need sh shoulder surgery, I need like all this multitude of, of stuff and, and, and you know, and there's no one's going to pay for that <clears> apart from, <throat> apart from I am. And obviously you don't get insurance payout because it's all classed as, as wear and tear. And we are, we are not unique. And I said to Dill, I don't want to tell a story, but I said to him, how are you? And he went, well, every time I go for a long walk, my hip tightens up so much so that I have to get a stick and stick a stick into it to help loosen trigger point it so I can get home. I was going to get a dog and I can't get a dog because I can't walk. I can't walk further than anything. And, and my wife just says I shuffle, I shuffle everywhere. So it's a really weird place to be in. I'm 35. You're 34, Dill, is he 35? 34. 34. And we're both... Nile fucked, and we haven't even been retired longer than a year. Well, I've been two years, deals a year. I think all those things that you, um, you, you obviously have now, you played with all those. I played with all, all my shoulder, knees, ankles, all these things. But every day you've got like processes, you've got people, you've got physios, osteos, uh, you got access to MRIs, jabs, uh, access to kind of hot, cold treatments. You've got it all like five, six days a week to get you up for training and to recover. But all of a sudden it just like drops off and you've got to go out to the real world, you've got to work. And it's like all these things that were keeping you going are not there anymore. And like fair play to Hass, you, you're paying for it. Fuck, I, I can bang you some Austinol. My, my physio Kevin did that, I reckon I must have had, because it's like a, a non-steroid, it's literally like joint, it's like WD-40. So you're, you know, it's like a really natural product. I must have had, I've had them in knees, ankles, hips, finger everything to you know and you basically instead of having you know if you go on the nhs a lot of times they just go put a steroid injection in that because we don't have to put our bodies normal people don't have to put their bodies through that but you know i've had austin on my ankle you know sort of five days before an england game just to be able to go and play you know i i i, I had to once i talk about it a little bit in in, in in my book about stuff but i had to inject myself in the ass once in a in an england change room toilets so just with a with a uh, something called Volterol, which was uh, uh, anti-inflammatory, because I didn't want to tell the England people, because I didn't want to not play, but I, I so wanted to play the game, but I, I didn't want to let them know because they already thought I was a bit iffy. And you look back now and you think, <laughs> that fucking, what was, I, what was I doing? You know, having anaesthetic in like areas of your body just to be able to get through a game because you love what you do, you but love your teammates, you want to win. 